Hello everyone, so Stationery Pal sent me another beautiful package full of goodies that I cannot wait to open up and give a haul for you guys. So if you didn't see my last one, I'll put it on screen here so you can go watch it. But yes, I am doing another giveaway just like last time, so stick around till the end of the video to find out what the prizes and the rules are. So starting off, Stationery Pal is always so sweet and puts in some extra little erasers in the shape of candies. They also sent me some of their own branded sticker sheets, as well as some of these really beautiful rose gold bulldog clips. They also sent me this super interesting refillable glue stick that I'm gonna get into in a bit, as well as some of their new fine liners in a brand that I've never heard of. So we're gonna swatch those out later. They also sent me some more beautiful washi tape because I my collection is always ever growing. As well as this really cute eraser, which I'm gonna show you a little bit more about later. They also sent me this really cool limited edition Zebra Mild Liner Doraemon set, which I'm so excited about. As well as this expandable pencil case in denim pink. Finally, they sent me one of their Stationery Pal Bullet Journal sets in lavender, which is pretty much the star of the show for today's video. So now it's actually time to have a look at these in more detail and actually swatch out my new Stationery Pal goodies. So we've got this one, which is the Stationery Pal stickers. And then up next we have the Outer Space sticker pack. And these are adorable as well. So yeah, I really like these. Um, we've got baking, which is so ironic because I'm the worst baker that I think there is. Then we've got the coffee stickers. Now this, a vibe with. And then junk food. So then we've got fitness. This sticker pack would be really nice to like put in my bullet journal to remind me when I need to uh, work out. Yeah, I got juice. We got musical instruments which is also cute. Does it have a violin one? <gasps> Yay, it's got a violin one, cute. That'll remind me to play my violin and practice. <laughs> and then lastly, we've got the Roman holiday one, which is pretty adorable. It's kind of like uh, just a holiday sticker pack. So yeah, I've got all these cute little stickers. Some of them are white background uh, stickers. So they're like completely opaque and some of them have like transparent, translucent-ish backgrounds and I really love the little like stars and little tiny stickers that come with them. I think those are gonna look adorable. The little ones to decorate. So that's cute. A very cute new sticker set. Okay, and then next up we've got this Angu um, expandable pencil case, which this is really taking me back to like primary school because um, everyone had these expandable pencil cases and they were all the rage because it can be small, but it can also be big. So you can have it like this at this like amount of thickness, I guess. Uh, and then you can also like zip it up and make it smaller. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory, but I got it in this cute little washed out pink and it's sort of like it's denim, which is really sweet and cool. And I like the touch of it. So yeah, this is very exciting. And it's got all the like the little pockets for the uh, stuff that I use the most. And then bam, extra pocket. We love extra pockets. <laughs> Next up, I'm really, really, really excited about this. I When I saw this on Stationery Pal, I kind of went off a little bit. Um, I grew up watching Doraemon, so when I saw these on their shop, I was like, please, please give me these Doraemon uh, mild liners because it's something I never knew I needed. Um, let me know if you guys ever watched Doraemon growing up because I used to watch it a lot and it's mainly the reason why I'm able to speak Spanish because we didn't have a dub version uh, in Portugal so all the Doraemon was in, in Spanish and I just kind of learned Spanish watching Doraemon so yeah. So these are again the mild liners they've got like the tiny little nub here and then they've got the highlighter um, tip on the other end. You guys, if they have color names, they're in Japanese and I'm no use there. So we've got blue, <laughs> green, yellow, pink, and this sort of like reddish purple color. Okay. These are so cute. These are just like the most perfect little colors. 
So yeah, this is like the reddish pink um, highlighter one. This is the like more purpley color. Oh, and also I'm gonna just swatch out these. Yeah, that's really nice. Those are gonna be really cool for like titles and stuff. And then we've got yellow, classic. I like that they're not incredibly fluorescent because um, I can still use these without being highlighters. I can actually use them as actual fine liners um, and not just use them as highlighter pens. So they're just like really bright, which is awesome. And I can, um, I can use them in my bullet journal. And then this blue, very cute, very adorable baby blue. So yeah, we've got these adorable mod liners. Also, that's, this is such a cute like campaign that they've partnered up with Doraemon. I think they had a bunch of other um, like shows that they teamed up with for other different for different packs of pens, and they t they have two different ones for the Doraemon series, which is awesome. They had this one, and they had like a Starry Night kind of Doraemon pack set. Um, but I really enjoyed these colors because I think they're like the the base colors that everyone needs. Cool, love it, super excited. So next up, I'm gonna try out these fine liners. I've never actually heard of this brand called Marvi Uchida for drawing. So I got three different sizes. They have um, some other sizes available, um, but I wanted to get just a few to see the range. I got 1.0, 0.4, and 0.8. I got like one of the thickest ones and then like uh, a thick but medium one and then like a, a, one more on the thin side just to see <gasps> oh, that's really nice. Whoa, that's actually really cool. I enjoy that. They're so deep black. Do you see that? They're just ink, like really good ink. <laughs> I'm actually really shocked at that. That's better than a lot of the fine liners I currently own. Um, so this is the Marvy fine liner in 1.0. So then this is the 0 0.8 tip, very lovely, but still very similar to the 1.01. I feel like they're kind of interchangeable. They're both pretty similar. So yeah, this is the 0 0.8 nib, and then this is a 0 0.4. So it should be half the thickness of this one. And yeah, it's really nice. Again, the color is incredible. It's really, really awesome. Ink, acid-free, non-toxic. Waterproof, that's interesting. So you can probably use these uh, with watercolors. Uh, so that'd be really nice. Cool. I, I'm very excited to try these out with watercolor pieces as well as in my bullet journal. Yeah, very exciting. <laughs> A big yes for me. So next up, you guys, I'm so excited. I saw this eraser in one of Kelsey Golden's videos when she did a stationery uh, she bought from Japan video where she kind of like reviewed and tried out a bunch of stationery she bought in Japan. And she had one of these erasers, which is, God, I can't remember. It's like the Fuji Mountain eraser. I forget the actual name of it, but it's very, very cool. And the whole thing with it is that the more you erase with it, the more it becomes the, a mountain and it becomes like this mountain with a bunch of snow on top and I don't want to like waste a lot of rubber or eraser on it today so if you do want to see what it actually ends up looking like once you've erased like half of the eraser you can go check out Casey Golden's video because um, she does like a whole lot of erasing to show the actual you know product but it basically ends up looking like this little mountain at the bottom they also have it in two different colors. So the one that um, Casey Golden had was the blue one. So it looks more like the, the mountain on the packaging, but I decided to go for the pink one because it's adorable. Next up, we have this very interesting item. So I saw this on Stationery Pal and I thought it was very interesting. I've seen like adjacent um, items to this in different stationary um, shops and stuff where it's just like a, a pen glue stick. Again, this was kind of all the rage back in uh, primary, middle and high school, but I found these pretty interesting because it's like an, a retractable glue stick and it seems very mess free. And I got some refills as well, just in case I need a refill. Oh. And I want to try to see how well they stick. 
So I actually have this like little <laughs> little card that I tried my stamp on. I got a stamp recently for my shop orders and uh, uh, you know what? Let's try and stick this to my bullet journal and see how lo good that looks. The other thing I really enjoyed about this glue stick when I first saw it is that it's really thin. So it's not like a, you know, a very thick glue stick so you can probably glue down like smaller items with it and I just feel like you get a lot more precision with it. Oh! I have this little page where I'm planning like all of my Twitch streams and stuff that I can do on Twitch streams. So, and I have some empty space at the bottom, so I'm gonna try and stick it down here. Oh yeah, that's nice. That's not too dry and not gooey and wet. It's just right. So yeah, there we go. And yep, yeah, seems lovely. Seems like it does its job. And to be honest, that's good enough for me. And I think it's a really nice design. It's very like easy to just carry around in your pencil case um, as opposed to like a giant glue stick, you know what I mean? But yeah, I quite like this whole refillable situation. It seems like it's a lot more eco-friendly than throwing out an entire glue stick every time you need a new one. So yeah, I like it. And then up next, you guys know, like I have a problem with washi tapes. So I got some more. Um, <laughs> because of course I don't have enough. But yeah, I saw these on Stationery Pal and they were in the new arrivals and I thought they looked so gorgeous that I really wanted to try some of them out. They're like these galaxy sort of clouds uh, range that they've got going on and they're just so gorgeous. And I love these watercolor looking um, washi tapes. They just make everything look so much prettier. I got this one in pink, uh, which has got like some beautiful pinky white clouds. I got this one, which is probably my favorite because it's got all my favorite colors on it. It's got, it's like these purple tones and the blues and the pinks. It's just very cute. And then I have this more cosmic, like space themed one. It's got a bunch of stars and constellations on it. And again, it's very, very pretty. And it really uh, comes at the right time because I just yesterday finished a very similar washi tape that I had that was like space themed So I got a replacement for it Yay, you guys know me. I love the washi tapes from stationery pal. They're not only incredibly affordable, but they they stick So well, they're like what I sometimes use to stick up pictures on my walls because they just They're just great for whatever you need. They're not stick, not too sticky that it ruins a wall But they're also sticky enough that I can use them for packaging for my shop orders they're just, they're just awesome, and I really like their, their washi tapes. So, next up, we have um, actually just a random thing that I, I was missing, so I, I decided to get it. <laughs> I love bulldog clips. I think they're super practical. I use them for literally everything from organizing stickers to organizing documents to just holding my pages down flat in my sketchbook. So I got a whole set of them. Uh, in this like copper color, which is adorable. I love these so much and they're so tiny. Look how tiny they are. And I think these are very cute for just like, you know, keeping pages down um, when I'm drawing in my sketchbook or, you know, on my, my bullet journal. And I think it's always nice to have bulldog clips around because they're good for everything. And they just look really cute. Like they come in this transparent box, which I think just looks nice on the desk. You know, it's not an eyesore, so I quite like those. Okay, so finally we're getting to the big boy of this video. And it's this um, new thing that Stationery Pal are doing, which are bullet journal packs. So Stationery Pal are currently doing this whole campaign where um, you can pick a color of a pack and they will send you out a little bag like this um, full of random contents that all fit the color scheme that you've um, picked out. I personally got the lavender um, pack because I, I just enjoy a good lavender colored item and I don't have many. I have a lot of like blues and greens and I thought I'd change things up a little. So. Let's get into this bad boy. I'm so excited. Ooh. So as you can see, pretty filled to the brim with items. And um, this is actually the giveaway items that you will receive if you win. Uh, you will get the exact same pack as me, the lavender one. So at least you get to see a bit of what you're, um, you know, entering a giveaway for. 
So the one thing that I'm like super excited is this pencil case. I just, again, love this denim look of the, the pencil cases that they have. And I love the shape of it. It's like triangular. And I just think it's gonna um, be adorable. I love pencil cases in this shape. And it's got an extra little pocket, which is so cute. And it's got, again, all that situation with the, the most used. Um, Actually, now that I come to realize, I think this front pocket is just like an easy entrance. So it's all the same, uh, all the same pocket, but I guess you can enter through this way as well and open it like that. That's pretty interesting, actually. I don't think I've ever seen a pencil case that does that. That's super cool. It's got two entrance points. We love that. Super efficient. I think I'm going to be using this pencil case um, for the time being because my old pencil case that I was using is getting a little bit tight with stuff and I feel like this one will provide some more space for my go-to items and it's got a little thing at the front that says awaken the beauty of life which is very cute next up in this sea of purple we have these very cute sticky notes I already have like two different sticky notes from this range from stationery pal uh, from this cosmos um, set so um, I'm very excited that I get to add another one to the collection. This is like the pinky, the more pink colored one. I already have one which is like the earth and I have one that looks like the moon. So now I have this really cute purpley one to add to my friends. And they're just sticky notes that you can uh, put on things and they look adorable. I just, I have, again, I have another problem with sticky notes. I have too many sticky notes for my own good. Speaking of sticky notes, we have some more. <laughs> and th this is um, the purple set from their color palette sticker collection. You get all of these sheets, these four sheets of colors. And I guess they're just stickers that you can um, utilize on anything you'd like. You've got this one with different shaped uh, rectangles. You've got this one that has, it's more like tab-like uh, things that you can probably put on gifts because it's got a little cut in the middle so I feel like those are good for closing bags and stuff like that and then you've got these two circular ones which are really cute and immediately what I want to use them is for like a gradient in a weekly spread and have these as like the, the circles where I write the day of the month in already I'm seeing it I'm excited <laughs> so yeah these are cute and um, just like a really nice uh, set of stickers that you can use on whatever you want. Uh, then we've got some more washi tapes in this set, which I'm not mad about. I'm actually quite happy. <laughs> so first off, we have this cute little um, one-toned, like this pale pastel purple, which very cute. We love pastel in this house. And then we've got this uh, gingham one. Oh, and this is a thick boy. Yes. I like this. It's a really thick washi tape, so it's this is like the normal width of the washi tape, and this one's like just a bit wider. And yeah, in this cute little purple bluey gingham color, I quite like it. I'm excited to use it. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh, this is very gorgeous. This one has beautiful metallic details on it. It's a lot more like uh, fest festive um, themed, but look how gorgeous that metallic is. It's like copper metallic as well. Oh, that's very beautiful. I'm definitely gonna use this to to um, wrap Christmas presents because it's gorgeous. And then lastly, this one's gonna go perfect with the cosmic set oh, that I got earlier. We've got another one of those like really beautiful um, washi tape, like a uh, cloud sort of cosmic washi tapes. So next up we have the pens and uh, the bullet, the actual bullet journal itself, which is like the whole basis of this bag and the accoutrements. So you actually get this really cute bulldog clip in purple, like it's metallic purple, adorable. So yeah, I'm gonna open up the bullet journal so I can actually swatch all of these things in it. So the notebook is from Paper Ideas. Um, that's a manufacturer hardcover. 100 grams, uh, 100 G's, and it's dotted. Um, cute, cute, cute. So we have the first page. Oh, we've got an index page. We love that. A contents page uh, at the beginning, and then very nice pages. So first of all, I'm gonna try out this 
Pentel brush sign pen because you guys know I love this range of pens. Piper. Very beautiful. Again, I love this range of pens, so I knew I wouldn't be that disappointed in it. <laughs> so next up, we've got this. Oh, that's interesting. We've got uh, this pen from Playcolor Dot. Um, and oh, that's cute. So it's like a stamp. Oh, that's adorable. So it comes with a stamp on one side that you can make a bunch of dots with. Oh, I'm going to have way too much fun with this. And then I guess it has ooh, an extra fine tip over on the other side. Oh, this is so cute. Wait, am I, have I been living under a rock? Cause I've never seen a pen like this. So I really enjoy this pen and I just realized that it's made from, uh, by Tombow. So good stuff. Next up, I'm gonna swatch out this uh, Pilot Juice. It's 0 0.5. And this is in the color Pastel Violet. Pilot 0 0.5 in Violet. Actually, it's pastel violet, but we're going to roll with it. <laughs> and I like the the gel formula, I guess. I don't know. At me trying to be a beauty guru. I like the formula. Okay, next up, we have a Zig Fude Biori brush, brush pen. And I, th I think I've got a, a similar brand of these. I have the... Um, I have a set of the Zig um, watercolor brushes. Let's try this this brush pen then. So, oh, it's very thick. Water-based dye ink, yeah. This is in the shade Violet. Fude Biori. Very pretty. And then next up we have this um, Sarasa Zebra Clip 0 0.5 pen in purple. Let's see, I think this one is more of a, uh, yeah, this is more of a, a gel pen type as well. Again, very pretty color. It's just like a, a deeper pink than this one. And then we have uh, a jelly roll. I love these jelly roll metallic uh, pens. I have a bunch of these, but actually I'm just not looking at my collection and I don't have this particular color So this is very exciting. I can add this one to my collection. Um, I love this collection of theirs um, And it's again jelly rolls you can always trust a jelly roll with like the consistency of the The, the stroke like it doesn't have any spots where the ink stops or anything like that um so we love to see it. Metallic. Very, very pretty. I'll give you guys a little bit of a close-up so you can see the, the true metallic goodie on this one. Yeah, very pretty. Yay. Next up, we've got just a, a regular highlighter from Stabulo. These are, you know, very well known, but in this beautiful purpley pink color, which again, I really like the, the, the set of pastels um, from Stabilo because you can use them as just like regular um, colors in your bullet journal. They're not highlighter colored or too vibrant and intense. Next up, we've got a Tombow uh, brush pen. Exciting. Tombow dual brush pen. Uh, I already, again, I have a ton of these, but I don't actually have this specific color, which again is very exciting because it means I can just add this onto my collection. This is the shade 676 and it looks to be like a very beautiful mauve color. Oh yeah. I love that color so much. Yes. This is probably one of my favorite colors is this like purpley reddish color. And then it's got this tiny little and on the other side, I think like Tombow is always like a good shout and you can't go wrong with it. Love this color so much. I'm obsessed. I think my next bullet journal spread is going to be just all inspired by this color. <laughs> so watch out. And then finally, I think this is our last pen actually, we've got a Muji pen. Uh, again, another brand that I really, really like. Um, I don't have many Muji. Uh, pens at the moment, but growing up I did have quite a lot of them. By the way, this is in the 0 0.5 nib. Oh, 
as you can see, like no gaps in this, which is awesome. I love it when uh, I can, I know that I can write out a really long word without having to lift the pen off the paper. So, so if you're interested in getting this exact pack of bullet journal supplies, I don't forget to enter the giveaway that I'm hosting here on my channel. Uh, the rules are all down there in the description if you'd like to enter very straightforward just um, make sure you subscribe to me make sure you follow me on instagram and follow stationary pal on instagram and tiktok and then just leave down there in the comment section where i can find you if you do win if you'd like to be entered into the to the giveaway stationary pal are also doing another giveaway over there on their instagram if you guys want to maybe try participating in that one but yeah if you do win you will get the exact same uh violet bullet journal pack that i got so we can be matching. Uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you enjoyed me swatching a bunch of new stationery. Thank you so much to Stationery Pal for sending me all these goodies. Just a quick note, I'm also now streaming on Twitch um, every every now and again. I do drawing streams, gaming streams, and it's just a chill time. So I'll put the link down there to my Twitch channel if you guys wanna check it out and join me for my next one. I think that's pretty much it for today. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.